Awesome. So I think we're live now. Uh, hey everyone, Tejas from Wakeslet here. Uh, we have a super special announcement today for all of you. I'm here with Ilana from Adobe for Education. We've got something really interesting to tell you. But before we actually delve into it, let me tell you what we're going to go through today. So we're going to take you through Adobe Spark really briefly, and Ilana is going to do this. She's going to take you through Spark and a few really cool user cases. I'll then just take you through Wakelet, uh, you know, very briefly, because I assume a lot of you already know about Wakelet, uh, show you a few user cases, and then we'll go into the big announcement that hopefully should make your experience in the classroom a lot better. So over to you, Ilana. Hey. First of all, Tejas, thanks so much um, for having me here today. I'm really excited to talk about Wakelet as well as one of my favorite Adobe products, Adobe Spark. So let me show you a little bit how the product works. You go to a spark.adobe.com and it will take you to this login page. You can choose your login mechanism if you have a personal account or as a teacher, log in with your school account or enter a class code. From there, this will take you to the Adobe Spark homepage, which looks a little bit like this. We have Adobe Spark page, post, and video. That corresponds to these different options here. Let's look at an example. You can either make your own um, project from a template or start from scratch. So this is what one of my favorite templates looks like. This is Adobe Spark post. You can choose your design. And then you can also add um, a bunch of options like text, you can add photos, you can add lots of fun things. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a uh, text. Hi, we'll see how it shows up. So it's, it's really nice, lots of options here. One of the products that we have is Adobe Spark page, which is one of my favorites. This is an example that a student made. Spark is great because it's engaging, easy to use, and gives you professional style results. So if you wanna learn more about how to use Adobe Spark in your classroom, you can visit spark.adobe.com edu, which gives some student examples and tells you more about the product. So thanks so much, Tejas. I'll leave you with this, which is a Spark post I just created with information about how to log into Spark and how to use Spark in the classroom. Thanks for having me here, and I'm really excited to learn more about this announcement. No, it's, uh, it's a pleasure having you on, and I'm sure a lot of the educators uh, who are watching us right now are thrilled to see uh, what you've shown them. You know, I'm, I'm super fascinated by all the creative content that all the educators come up with uh, especially in regards to the Spark content as well and how they've used our two products together already. Uh, so like I was saying, uh, you know, I was going to give you all a brief run through of Wakelet. So essentially for all of you who are not aware, Wakelet is a content curation platform that allows you to save, organize, and share content from across the web. So essentially we allow you to bookmark links from the web, organize them in an area called the collection, uh, make sense of it, uh, you know, we also allow you to collaborate on it, uh, either with your students or your PLN, and then share it out to the world. Uh, there's a bunch of different ways in which uh, educators have found use for Wakelet in the classroom. So educators use Wakelet to create newsletters, uh, share resources with their PLN or their students, uh, you know, even have assignment submissions. And that sort of takes me to this uh, really cool example that I want to show you from where we transition really smoothly to uh, our big announcement. So hopefully you should be able to see my screen now, Lana. Mm -hmm. So this is a really cool collection of, you know, an educator that has created um, or curated Spark content inside of Waiter. So let me just refresh this. Uh, so essentially what's happened is uh, an educator has used Wakelet as a submission area for assignments. Uh, and all of these students have actually created their assignments in Adobe Spark and added in their Spark content inside of a Wakelet collection. And for all of you who've previously used these two products together, you're probably well aware that uh, the two uh, 
combined in a really seamless manner when you add Spark content inside of Wakelet. Essentially, it comes up with a really neat preview uh, through which you can sort of see, by and large, what the content's about. Um, so as you can see over here, uh, it's given you a really brief preview of the content in itself inside of Wakelet.com. But we've actually taken this a step further, which takes us to our announcement. Woohoo! Uh, Woohoo! We've actually allowed for all of this content to embed itself in an interactive manner inside of a Wakelet collection. Uh, and I've got this great example to show all of you. So this is uh, a showcase of Adobe Spark videos that have been embedded inside of a collection. And uh, you can see over here that all the videos now can be played inside of Wakelet. So super useful uh, you know, when you're trying to get your students to uh, create Spark content and you're looking for a place to organize it. You now have this amazing place in Wakelet uh, to add all of the content and have it showcased really neatly inside of a collection. Uh, so we're super excited to see how you're going to use it. Uh, any thoughts on this, Alana? I love this new integration. It's really exciting to me that students and teachers alike can be in Wakelet and stay there and still get to see Spark content at its best yeah. quality. So true. I mean, I, I can't wait to see how the education community makes use of these two products together. Uh, you know, we're going to make the official announcement on Twitter at 5 p.m. BST, so that's 9 a.m. PT. Uh, so please do stay tuned for uh, you know, the announcement on Twitter and, and tell us how you use uh, this amazing combination in your classroom. Uh, we can't hear, we can't wait, sorry, to hear about uh, all the ways in which you've used these two uh, products together. Uh, thanks for joining again. And uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing how you use it. Thanks, Bye. everyone.